used to be out on the corner He was dealing in drugs Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts Now he's a podcaster His life he'll talk about it with us And now it's Jeff FM Jeff FM What's up baby we're back Hold on let me do my thing You gonna put some clothes on? Yeah I'll get to that Or you need the thumbnail for clothes I'll get to that I am rusty, but you know what? I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm a goddamn prize fighter. Is that why I'm here? That is why you're here, Mike. I gave you that one because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. We just came back from a great Miami vacation, as you can see by our tans. Cut to Steven. Yeah, uh-huh. I know that I know that you called me a week ago to tell me that you were taking the whole team to, to Miami and neglected to get me my ticket and invite me. So just wanted to say thanks for that. Always a great a great friend you are to me. Oh yeah, happy belated birthday. Oh, uh, thanks. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay shirtless for for this, but I wanted to come in here with a prize fighter mentality. You know, that's why I got this watch on. What is that, it's a, a r- Rolex? It's a guess, it's a Gucci watch. It's Gucci a, watch? I'm not a big, I'm not a flashy guy, you know, but once the checks start coming in. Prize fighter money you're gonna win? Once from- all that prize fighter money comes in, I'm getting offers, I called out David, or David called out me. I saw. I'm being bullied right now. I missed the goes mark by the, that one. He goes by the name. <laughs> oh my God. He goes by the name of David Dobrik. You guys might know him. He used to be a big YouTuber a while ago. He just posted a video, actually. He went out to celebrate about it. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a whole big accomplishment. You made a YouTube video. So they go out and the paparazzi. Take a hat off. That's a good one. What is that from? Uh, Steven was getting a haircut on the beach. You guys, oh. you want. All right. We're, you, we're updating the sound bites. I'm proud of you guys. You guys earned my respect out there. You, you really didn't. I will get to that. But I want to talk about this call out. The vlog squad made a video. They all went out to celebrate it. Yeah, I was in the video making a little joke. Um, it was funny. I laughed. It, thank you. Thank you. I didn't go to Hawaii. I went to Miami with the boys because we had a trip planned already. We had the, We were planning on going to the fights. We're all about fight. Hell yeah. I like how you open in the mic, Steven, my boy, my fucking right hand man. This guy. You really got recharged when you went to bro, Miami. I fucking, <laughs> I'm charged up. Yeah, I got this fucking guy fighting people now. Jonah would never fucking do that in a yeah, million years. You slapped you. him up. No, he, you slap, you slap. he slapped the last guy, my yeah. last co-host. He slapped good. him and he did and he, he did nothing. I researched that. I watched it. I was like very curious. My how actions will, will speak words. Was it like yeah. real? Did you actually... Uh, we we don't want to pull the, the curtain back too much right now, but yeah, I mean, there's a reason he's not here, and I am. And I yeah. don't know what this guy talking about. <laughs> is that Jonas dad? No, that's Khabib. Oh. That, it, it's similar though; they have similar accents. You know, you know what's funny, Jeff, is I I actually didn't get invited to Hawaii or Miami, so that's zero for two in the Mike Shuffer column. Okay, hopefully. it's all right. You did your thing here. I'm sure you accomplished a bunch of stuff this week. You had a good work week. What is it that you do again? You got a fucking landscaping company or something? You're a teller in a bank? <laughs> That's a long one. That's a long one. That's too long. So what is so, this? You're doing a new sitcom format in here now? We're, we're innovative. We're changing the game. Yeah. You know what you look like? Like a guy that does like customer service at like Amazon or something. <laughs> Nice one. That's not Steven. a bad thing. What do you got? No. You got writers for him now? Uh, no, he's just he's, he's just he's just he's just not Jonah. He's you're not pointing, Jonah. You're pointing to your brain. Is that where the joke? He's got natural yeah, comedic serious. abilities. He's down to go. Oh, is Seth Rogen laugh. How's Kyle's um uh German disease or whatever he's Gilbertson? got? Gilbertson. 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 Fucking yeah. lost that shit. He got Miami. knocked out of him when, oh, he, was yeah. in, when he fought that kid in Miami. That, that kid on the beach knocked it out of his fucking head. Yeah, Stephen actually knocked my eye straight. I went to the doctor today. We're all over the oh, place yeah. here, Wait, but did you, but my you eye schmutz in your teeth. I've been eating nothing but apples and salads. Oh yeah, are you cutting down weights? So you can be in the same weight class as I'm cutting down weights. So I could be David Dober's weight. You think you could beat him in a fight? We'll see. Whoa, that was a lot. Some more subdued. I thought I just lit a oh. match and wait. Back I mean, to the I eye. Sell the fight. Wait, is your eye? <laughs> you went to the doctor's for your eye. I, have, I go to the doctor for my eye every week. I'm on top of my well, shit. Do you get, do you get like what stamped every? After? Do you get stamped every time you go on like your tenth eye surgery is free? Are you fine? Look, me and him could joke about this stuff. <laughs> we could joke about the eye all we want because we're boys and we fucking dish him. You just yeah, met him two fuck fucking you? weeks ago, Jeff. Who the fuck are you? Jeff, you met this guy you two weeks ago. You come on this podcast every- 
Bro, bro, I know this guy over a year already. He's been there since the Fight Club video. He's he, he's yeah, the guy I beat up in the Fight Club montage. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff I knew you when you had 400 followers on Instagram. Never had 400. Never, out, never even had 400. LA, you're like, oh, so I you, started off you, when I when I downloaded it. I had no pictures up, and fucking they just came in. I, I had remember 40K. Jeff. We Wait, went. Did we you went, go on the beach and box people with him? No. No, I don't. I don't need so a box to prove my worth. I, I have these a, kids prove themselves to me out there. Is the moral of the story? Yeah. They all fought. Oscar did not fight because he had to hold the camera, but he'll get. He'll be getting in there soon, and we're transitioning the barbershop into a fight club permanently we're oh, gonna have man. jeff Cash fm is gonna be where we come on here and we talk about our fights and we might commentate on some other fights but the barbershop will be a traveling fight club we're gonna travel to people we're gonna fight them on the street i would not want to fight it. him i'm cutting down a dobrik's weight so there's no bullying going on here he called me out and it was actually i in the video i heard another angle and this other angle it didn't sit right with me. Let me think. I'm, I'm going to be completely bad. honest here. Yo, no, if, if I could fight one Take YouTuber, YouTuber who would it be? Uh, which TikToker <laughs> would, you, would you fight? Oh, which TikToker? Yes. Dude, this is a lot of pressure because I know if Jeff I say it, I'm going to have to go through. Oh, come Jeff Winnick. <laughs> Jeff Winnick, I'll see you in the ring. Okay, okay. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Yeah, for smashing him with the cranes. Zane thinks it's a big goddamn joke now. <laughs> So Wait, now Zane's happened? next on my list. I'm going to go down to fucking skin and bones to fight David. I can actually see your back muscles from the front, which is a little bit scary. That's like you kind of got the Brad Pitt in Fight Club look right now. That's that bronchitis, baby. I'm actually dying. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> you, got, you got chlamydia, gonorrhea. What happened in Miami? <laughs> I <co> got... <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay, bro. It's not contagious anymore, but on antibiotics. <clears throat> and a, but and I bought they got to shorten that word. Um, <laughs> I've been on antibiotics, but fucking motherfucker, fucking. Uh, I need the, I need the pills. Give me the pills. Give me the vitamins. You need a button oh, for antibiotics. <laughs> I had it rough. It was a rough four days. I thought I was gonna die, so I'm a little extra skinny. Antibiotics. Uh, that's why I hopped on the scale and I weighed myself and did a, I did a little call out of my own to David today. And Zane's next on the list. I'm going to call Zane in a few, and we're going to get to the bottom of this and why he said that, because Zane and I have been friends a long time. I know he likes to drink. You know, where's my, I don't drink, I never drink. You think whiskey going to help you, Zane? I don't drink. I never drink. I'm coming for you next, Zane. I feel like Jake Paul. Is there anything I need you want to ask out. me? You invited me as a guest. I haven't been asked one no, question. No, no, no. I, I just realized I'm getting too Jake Paulish. I'm going to put the shirt back on. <laughs> well, why is Jake the biggest YouTube boxer Why right is now? he the most Because paid. that fucking mouth. I know, but Cha also I got to keep it classy. Look, look at Steven. Look how he's dressed today. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me to fucking. You know, yeah, I know. I know where your head's at, but whatever. I'm proud of you. I respect you. I'm not going to be mean to you guys today. We had a nice bonding trip, Mike, out there. Miami Beach. It was so fun. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you guys had a good time. I've only known you for three fucking years and I've helped you through some of the darkest times in your life when no one else would talk to you and yeah. you make a little bit of money for the first time in your life legitimately and you decide to take some fucking kid Everything that you met. That comes out of your mouth. No, 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 filming no. Stop, a bit. stop, guys. Everything stop, guys. I came, right. I came here to, to make a bone with you, Jeff. No, you're right. Because I was saying how my asshole persona seeps over into my real life sometimes and I, I get carried away. It was a bit. I was. I literally didn't invite you just so we could make that joke. <laughs> That I didn't invite you for your birthday and then come back and brag to you about the trip. Yeah, that's but that's what I'm here and for. It's Jeff. Cruel. It's cruel. No, and it's cruel. No, it's not. It's and funny. And sometimes I have a little trouble sleeping at night when when I think about the mean things that I do to some nice people that are in my life and they care for me. But and then, then, then I think about and then, then I fine. then I read my comments. I'm just reassured that I'm doing the right thing mm -hmm. when I'm mean to you because you, you count that money, you pop an ambient. No, you sleep no, no, just no. Fine. I'm listening to the fans. There's about sixty percent of them hate you. So even though it's a close. Close Is that a scientific here. poll you did? 60%? I'm just going off the off, you know, ballpark. I, I look at the comments. Most of them say, don't bring Mike on. I hate him. Please don't. I, I don't see asked. those comments. I actually look and I do. Well, the last Google episode search. I asked specifically, I said, leave a comment if you want him here. And uh, and I'm I'm being generous by saying 60. It was about 90% that said, we don't want that fucking yeah, rat you, I know here. you put filters He's got on a rat too. Looking I face, know you put their filters face on makes... that say, Mike sucks and no. elevate, pin the comments. You can't do that. That's real shit, bro. Okay. My, my fucking audience is genuine and real and they're the realest motherfuckers on this platform. I know. And I think that I am well- Are you getting like, death threats? No. Should I be? You guys aren't working hard enough then yet, you know? <laughs> Instagram's Mike Sheffer <laughs> at Mike Sheffer. Oh my God. I mean, it's a game, bro. And I'm happy to have you as a friend. But my, yeah, see what I mean? My asshole persona seeps over. Sometimes it bugs me, but then I'm reassured. I do this for them. I listen to them. I give them what, what they want. What happened to you in Miami? Did you reconnect with some of your old, your old pals? And Yeah, but that doesn't fucking make a fucking difference. Get a new perspective on life and what you're doing with YouTube and I mean, what life's really always changing, bro. If you're fucking sitting back doing the same old thing, then you're falling behind. 
You know, I'm out there living. I'm out there in the fucking scene. I'm seen and I'm being seen. We were out in the nightclub. Steven couldn't get in because he's 20. So he stayed in the room and he <laughs> ordered pizza. I was fine with that, though. Uh, that's what I enjoy. You know, mm-hmm. I'm scared of clubs. So you took a kid <laughs> to Miami who's not 21. I, also, and you have I'm a perfect petrified of cities. Like, I am not a city person. So that was like a lot. Where do you live? On a farm? He's from a, he's from a farm. Yeah, yeah, but not anymore. In Maryland. Where do you live now? In the valley. Oh, nice. Good timing, guys. Does that make you feel more at home? Calabasas. Okay. <laughs> His neighbor's the Uzi. Just kidding. It's he's not, a little scared of stuff, Calabasas. but he, we're, we're getting out of our shells. And look, I've been in a shell, too. I've been in a shell the past year. You've seen me. I distanced myself from all of our friends. You know, I, I sat here and edited a documentary about me crying. And made six episodes out of it. Making and the shit out of this, though. and it, and it was tough. It's like the things are in my brain coming out. <laughs> <laughs> They're in my brain too. I have them soundboard me when we walk around in Miami. We were in the club or like walking through the lobby, and we're talking to fans. F- fucking Kyle's got the soundboard on his phone, so I uh, pay them to I, walk what around. Do, what is the Jonah one? Uh, my words. My actions have... will speak words. <laughs> I actually don't speak words. You're like, yeah, honey. So uh, you graduate college ne- next year. That's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, huh? Wait, where's your hotel room at? My accents uh, speak words. <laughs> yeah, he actually. I wanted to bring him on and have a debate about our situation, but he um, he's busy flipping uh, kebabs over there. He's busy flipping kebabs when I want to talk about our beef and our real shit. Mm. But when David calls him up for a fucking Hawaiian vacation to vlog. <laughs> Oh, right there! Look, 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 I'll suck your dick, Daddy David. Maybe if it had a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more views on your channel, he'd You'll be. Lie. Fuck! I hit the wrong button. God damn! Yeah, fucking whatever. What were you saying, Mike? Nothing. I was, <laughs> I was making a joke that wasn't that funny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel nervous. Should I be nervous for this? No. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. We could chill out. We could. No, slow no, no. Down. This is good. This is good. Keep it up. Um. So what? What was the purpose of going to Miami? You just need to blow off some steam. Yeah. Well, I went the first round, and I went just to give myself a vacation because I I went through a lot, and I was in a depression, and you like you can't just hey, get out of that by talking to people who? and telling and like, huh? Yeah. What? Who? What? Do you want to see Doctor Raymond? <laughs> Do you want to get some brain pills oh, too? Who? What? Who asked? <laughs> Scared to do that. I was so scared to do that. People want to know about my situation. This is my show. Look at the name on the wall. People still want to know after four hours of content about okay, it. Okay, I'll fucking stop talking about it. But yeah, you asked me I'm why kidding, I went on vacation. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll wreck you both. Okay. <laughs> these are, these are fucking legal illegal weapons. Uh huh. If I strike you, I'll go to jail because these are fuck because I'm trained. Those are licensed as lethal licensed weapons? weapons. Yeah, lethal, lethal weapons. Lethal, lethal not legal, weapons. Not legal weapons. Lethal. Yeah. Legal. Illegal. I'm legally blind. Illegally blind. I don't give a fuck if I go to jail or not. For fucking seeing this fist go into your fucking rat face. Bronchitis is gone. I'm good. I'm back. I took a vacation. Had a good time myself. I'm glad you did, Jeff. You deserved it. Pulled me out of my depression. and Because you only went to New York for the last year and you just went to see your family. I only went to get surgeries and to see my family after we got You didn't get to blow off steam. You didn't get to go travel to a new place. So No, not at all. I didn't do anything. I stayed in the house. I obeyed the CDC. Uh, Kind. Meh. (laughs) You know, I did my best. Yeah. I stayed with my small circle here (laughs) and we edited the documentary and came out great. That content was some of the best content you put out on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I hear it nonstop. I I hear it and I I know it's a compliment. I know you guys are complimenting me when you say that my documentary is the best work. I can't wait for you to keep it up, but I cannot keep it up unless I smash the other side of my face. I, I will come up with more content ideas to meet those expectations. But I, I appreciate you guys complimenting the documentary in person when you see me. Like I was on a hike and somebody was like, keep it up, man. I love the documentary. It's like, how do I keep it up? I'm trying to fucking put that behind me. <laughs> you got to sell tickets to the other side of the, of the crane swing. I got to <laughs> fucking, what do you want me to do? Smash the other fucking side. So I guess the only option now is get that little fucking weasel David in the ring and smash up one side of his face. And then everybody's happy at the end of the day. I think everybody will get a lot of joy from seeing that. And David and I both said we set out to make videos to bring joy to people in their lives. If they're going through a tough time, this is this is an escape watching us. Yeah. So watch me fucking smash in David's face for an escape for 50 bucks pay-per-view. It's, it's kind of an, it would be an interesting set up because you have an injury that might make you a little bit more susceptible to a yeah. knockout and he's also an athlete if he, if he catches he is athletic he's an athlete he is yeah he was like yeah. an all-american tennis player he's really good he beats like todd at basketball he's he's oh yeah re- no david's he's very athletic. so he was has he'll have like the stamina like the oh, oh yeah, yeah. stamina no, he doesn't smoke doesn't drink 
He's he exercises. He's he goes, great. He great runs, tennis player, like, basketball player. Jab. Or like he, but he runs a lot. I mean, is it, he a fast learner? Like he would have to train. He's a fast basically. learner. He would for have sure. to train. But I think. So you think he would? I just think Jeff is at a. There, there is. You know, if, if this is Jeff pre injury, obviously it's a lot easier of a of a you know match to call. But well, given you know the current, what else is going to sell the tickets? Do you think he, like, no one's ever seen David with his shirt off? <laughs> yeah, that that so. right there is worth five million dollars. <laughs> yeah. pay, pay per view buys. Seeing David with that shirt off, you I would pay for David, that. You know what? I, you you know, David. all of us know David. So. All of us know David. He's for tall too. Four years yeah. now. I know David for four years. Mm-hmm. Todd knows David for like seven years. Yeah, never seen him once with his shirt off. Mm, it's weird. And I heard this is just a rumor because I don't know if it's true or not. When he has sex, he doesn't get. Uh, Undressed, he puts his penis through the hole in his in his underwear. Look, I don't know what what his pants, fuck? and he turns all, turns all the lights down. I don't know what Tumblr accounts or Twitter fans. I missed the mark with that meme one. Meme accounts you follow, but he told me this. Oh, he told you this. He told me this that he puts his pee pee through a hole. He puts his 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 penis. I'm not going to say pee pee because I'm not seven, but he puts his penis. What, Stephen? What? <laughs> How did he get promoted what to the outside fuck, of the bathroom? Steven? I was just curious. I don't know. He fucks everything up. Yeah. yeah. Did He'll you did you ever try on like, all that uh, electronic? Did you ever have back like there? sit on your hands like this when you were in school and like? No, I wasn't so that much of a weirdo. That's probably no. It's like something Oscar would do. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, I've seen Oscar do that before. <laughs> sit on his hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God damn! I love this kid, man. What I happened? Love this what kid. happened in Miami that made him earn your respect like this? Because I've never seen fucking badass dudes. Yeah, like on, on the beach when you're doing those street he, fights? Yeah, he got memed. He, he caught one shot by this guy who was like 200 pounds and on steroids and drunk. Oh, and he hit me right here real hard. And it made me scared to get hit again, like in the body. So I was like, Can you down. pull it up? Just show Mike. Because we, we were we Dude. were telling everybody on and look, Miami Beach is nuts because we went out there with like a few random ideas that like we'll try doing a barbershop, we'll try doing maybe some like boxing training like a workout montage yeah and j- just from us having the gloves out like i said we're gonna fight strangers as a joke to him <laughs> and then having boxing gloves out there the only guy i had to ask was this guy and his whole family were like boxers and like their grandfather was a oh pro like he champion boxer. i'm actually thankful i didn't get invited to this trip <laughs> yeah, you would have had to <laughs> you would have been involved too because i know you like to fight <laughs> yeah. So I got five would have been in the hospital. This kid was like actually experienced. He scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Jeff, you fucking fought somebody? I, we I'm fought, we fought, fought, fought like, and I'm right, we right. fought like five people each. Oh, Kyle fought a woman. Just just get we bought a little drugs too. He sells a little drugs. Oh yeah, do that. That kid's yes. that kid was good. Just fast forward to uh, mm-hmm. yeah, here we go. He's gonna so, gas out. Oh, I saw this. Pause, like, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Okay, so yeah, big. wait, pause it on a better frame. Drunk. Like when he's down. I pause. saw this clip. Okay. So that was you? Mm-hmm. Fuck. So Damn. we we <laughs> we told everybody that we were boxing and sparring with because there's no headgear. It is 16 ounce gloves, so it is what good. What does that mean? I mean, for my eye, like it's okay if I get whapped with a 16 ouncer because it's a bigger glove. That's Normally more, in, in more fights, um, in, in actual fights, they use 10 ounce. I think in the TikTok or boxing um, event that we just watched, it was 16 ounces. So they're just bigger, more padding. It's like sock and boppers. Sock and boppers. That in. looks like in the mall when there's like a wet floor, like yeah, the sign funny. that says slippery yeah, wet that's floor. So funny. <laughs> that's, he literally yeah, is the yeah. guy in the sign. Right, that's hilarious. Just because yeah. I'm laying on the ground like that right there doesn't mean I won't beat the shit out of you. Mike. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would never, I would never do that. That was a complete trick. I was trying to be it's like, okay. Cool it's okay. Hard. I know. I know you're a good one. I would never. You would never betray me. I for a bit and I felt really bad. You would never, be, I dude, it. you're fine. You're fine. I know. I know it's all, all right. it's all fun and games. If you ever fucking talk to me like that again. Yeah. You got to give respect where it's due, Steven. That's a great you know? frame. I, you should print that out and, and hang it up. Like if your- Jonah comes in here, you treat him like the dirt that he is. <laughs> The scumbag that he is, but you know Mike's a little older. He will hit you back. So I don't want to hit anybody. I'm a pacifist. I'm a peaceful like, guy. Like you see how I am when I when Vince comes in here or Todd comes in here. Like I joke around with him and we 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 go off on each other. But there's a respect line that you don't cross because you know this oh, guy no, will strike I, you I would back. Never, I know and he would have to fight. I know, I know he would be, hit me. I know and it's going to be awkward every not. time you I'm see him. Pacifist. Some people, it's awkward now. So when Mike sees Jonah. And Jonah knows that he was slapped up and did nothing. It's awkward for Jonah. It's awkward for Mike. No, actually, it's probably fine for Mike. Mike probably doesn't I don't give a, give a fuck. fuck. He's like, whatever. This guy's my son. Well, see, that's why I apologized literally right after because I couldn't keep the bit appreciate going. It. No, really appreciate it. Appreciate it. You're, no, you're, yeah, I could see why you upgraded him from the ki- from the kitchen to the or whatever that is, the bathroom to the couch. <laughs> he's doing good. He is like my little protege, and he's like my I'm like his big brother sponsor. 
whatever you want to call it. You know, I know yeah. he's not a, a recovering addict, but he's recovering from a lot of. Are you recovering? I'm re- yeah, I'm recovering. You're not recovered. You're always recovering. It's, when a, you're it's an addict. ing. It's never an ed. Bro, I'm addicted to Lacroix. <laughs> I'm addicted to fucking everything. You got to upgrade it's, it's to, constant... to Topo Chico, by the way. Uh, Lacroix. Topo is, Chicos are good, dude. The best. That's like my dream sponsorship okay. is Topo Chico. We're, our viewers are going down as you speak. Okay, Jeff. Uh, I, can I point something out that may make you a little bit upset? But I'm telling you, this is a friend. Do as I finish telling my story first about the boxing on the beach. Oh, go ahead. So we told these guys on the beach that we're going 50 percent and sparring. So it was not supposed to be wild street fights. And then everybody that comes in, you do 50% for the first jab. One guy goes a little hard. Then now you're at 70%. And now you're at a, just trying to take each other's heads off at 100%. So this guy came over. He's like, I just drank five Trulies. I don't give a fuck. Let's fight. Every We didn't ask. That one guy was the only guy we asked. And everybody else just came over and said, let me get next. Let me get next. Let me get next. And then at the end, we had the whole Fountain Blue, the hotel we were at. Yeah, no Fountain Blue. They all fought each other. The employees were fighting each other. Oh, they all lost their jobs <laughs> <laughs> the next day. Yeah. So we, we didn't put it in the video because I, I wanted to be respectful to the kids and we wanted to hopefully get them their jobs mm-hmm. back. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I didn't see anything. No Fountain Blue employees fought on our watch. Yeah. You know, maybe after maybe no, didn't no, they, didn't. they didn't, didn't, didn't even be, happen. Don't be a rat. Don't be a rat. But their their jobs are hard laboring out there on the beach. Like you could even see that <laughs> yeah, they, they had like their own version of Kyle, like that skinny kid that Kyle fought. Mm-hmm. But he's out there tanned up laboring, lifting those umbrellas and chairs. So Kyle fought like Kyle's on a computer all day editing <laughs> and he's fighting this guy that's outside. And he's putting got in work. He's got Jimson's disease. He used to. He's recovered. What's it called? He's recovered. We're all recovered. We're all recovered. No, I left that shit in Miami. Yeah. How did you get rid of it? Did you do like a blend smoked of herbs weed. and spices? He smoked weed. Yeah. A blend of herbs and spices. Well, so like we got there and I was like, fuck. Like, I'm not about to be that guy on the trip that's like, can we eat vegan food? So. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with being vegan, okay? No, I'm cool with it. Look at me. I got an apple. I'll survive off of whatever. Give me a pill to take. I'll never eat again. Can I tell but, you something without you getting upset? Sure. Your apartment kind of smells like piss. Yeah, I'm working on that. Nerf had a fucking party here with, with a bunch of dogs. <laughs> I was gonna when say, I was, what? when what we were in fuck? Miami, <laughs> I left him here and he had like fucking 37 dogs. Here's like a Project X dog party with all Frenchies. <laughs> and they were just pissing on everything. And they, yeah. they had their fun. I came home to it. I walked in. Yeah. I said, Nerf, what the fuck are you doing? Everybody out. They started barking at me. They all ran over and started like thinking that I was, was happy to see him. A couple of like, underage, no, out, out, underage out. puppies scooting out. Right. Yeah, they the, Nerf has destroyed this place, but he's... 15 he's blind he's deaf yeah. some days he could see and here it's weird because you like, normally keep a tight ship you get your places always clean neat but today it was a, it was just like nerf whoa. destroyed the carpets while we were gone damn and we're, gonna, gonna, we're gonna rip them up you're gonna put them down no we're gonna change the carpets the out bro you sick right? fuck the fuck nerf has more fucking power than you over here we'll put you down that's a dark piece yeah leave a like if you want us to put mike down <laughs> Oh my god! Share this video that's, with your friends. Can if we you do want a, us to... a Mike Sheffer death count, uh, death threat count on this? That's two so far. Two death threats from Mike Sheffer. Good from cheer, death, fucking barbershop well. plus. I already get a lot of shit from your fucking audience <laughs> in my Instagram DMs yeah. calling me fucking. Well, I'm not even going to repeat it because I'm not going to reunite the fire. But I used to get you know DM requests. Oh my god, you're so funny. I don't like how they pick on you. Uh, you seem like a really nice guy. And now it's all, you're a fucking scumbag. Jeff was right about you. You're a piece of shit. I hope you fucking die. Oh and now god. it's the same people, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's all. And they're on all the all the accounts are like Wittick fan and like Jeff's my, <laughs> Jeff's my hero and all these accounts. Some of them are nice, but most of them tell me to go fuck myself. So <laughs> man, but let's get into the topics of the week or should we take a caller? I have something. I could use your advice. Okay. I got fucking robbed <laughs> Did in my, you, in my own real? house twice this week. Somebody broke in? Uh, yes. Uh, the first week I went uh, to dinner with a couple friends, went to two birthday parties, and then I went to go help David edit his video. And then I got home like one in the morning. What'd they take? Your yarmulke? Your dreidel? <laughs> Tomorrow, hold on, but- hold on. Hold on. Wait, let me. What'd they take? Your yarmulke? Your dreidel? <laughs> <laughs> I need a little laugh there, you know. Otherwise, it's mean. If you don't put David's, oh laugh yeah, you put David's laugh, and it's all, it's That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have cameras? I don't. Um, they stole my Tesla charger for my Tesla. They oh, they shit. pulled it out of the wall. I have the Tesla charger like kind of hanging through my gate, so Damn, they didn't dude. have to climb over to get that. But it's like a five hundred dollar charger, so they took You're my back Tesla on the skateboard. Charger. You have that charger? Yeah, I do have the skateboard. <laughs> you have your chart. They didn't get your charger for your electric skateboard. 
So did you skateboard here today? No, I didn't. I, I'm running low in juice on my Tesla, though. I got to drive Damn, real slow. all your batteries are dying. Keep the AC <laughs> off. Time to get a Chevy truck like wow. me, be a man. I forgot that you used to see me ride around. <laughs> your truck gets stuck all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I fucking run out of gas all the time, I think, because the gas the gauge, it's broken. <laughs> so I run so out of gas. Right. I just keep containers in the back. And then sometimes I use them to douse fucking kebab joints when people piss me off. But... You know, it's a win-win. Yeah. I, and we were all doing what we got to do to survive. So you got your so charger stolen. So my Tesla stolen. charger was stolen. I was like, fuck, that sucks, but I get it. It's $500. You know, there's a couple of like, you know, shady things around where I live. So, and I didn't have cameras, so there's not much I can do about it. it sucks. But then two days ago, I'm in my yard, I'm in my pool, and I'm looking for one of my pool chairs and my water gun. I bought a big water gun because I like to shoot water guns. And I had like a lot of alcohol. What for, are you, for 12? A, yeah, you have a water gun. For him, let, fun, let, fun let, has no age, guys. Okay? Let, him, let him tell his story. Have a little bit of fun in your life. It's it's not going to hurt you to have a little pool party once in a while. He, drink, he likes to drink you guys, white claws you, on the weekends. You guys squirt his friends with water guns. You guys, <laughs> I invited you to my birthday party. You didn't respond. And then you yeah. call me. We're busy. Me and we're ringside. Me, yeah, you called me and told me I'm going to Miami. Go fuck yourself. And I invited you to my pool party. You could have seen the water gun that I'm talking about. Anyway, I get fucking home. And my pool chair, my water gun, and like five of my bottles of alcohol all stolen the next day. That's so Damn, weird. They take weird things, these burglars, man. A water gun. Uh, that's, I was so shocked. Well, you that's know what that so means. Weird. You know what that means. Did you get robbed by there were no <laughs> that he had no money or jewelry or anything of value. <laughs> he probably doesn't even have a flat screen TV. He probably only has books. Loser. That's so weird. Who would steal a water gun? I don't know. <laughs> that's so strange. Yeah. So, do you have any advice for someone who got robbed, or what can I do to protect myself? I was thinking about getting a sticker that says this. Buy a is gun. Yeah. Cameras are mandatory. They're cheap now. Simply yeah. safe. They sponsor me in the past. It's super easy to set up. That's not our sponsor, but they're fucking cool, and they let me have a whole Fight Club video once. So, get cameras. Of course, you should have them. Yeah. Todd's house. Todd Zane's house. I remember. Them, they got broken into the, by the same guy three times, like three nights in a row. Yeah. And these guys kept going out to saddle. They were at Saddle <laughs> Ranch every night doing Instagram stories. If you follow them, you're like, oh, they're at Saddle Ranch. Let's go rob the joint. <laughs> You know, but they they had cameras oh too, God. and they got the guy yeah. on camera. Yep. But he took Zane's Lamborghini key, but they took his key because they tried to steal his car. Insane. But it was blocked in by another car, yeah. so he just took the key, just inconvenienced the fuck out of Zane, and they didn't rob anything significant. Yeah. So I got my Tesla charger stolen. If anyone wants to make a donation to the Mike Sheffer Fund, my Venmo is right there. We, I'm kidding. I make a lot of money. Milked everything. I'm we kidding. Make, it's fine. We don't want to ask. I make a lot of money. money. I don't need your your audience's money. But yeah, but um, um, no. I yeah, it sucks to get to get. Have you ever been robbed before? Like like person yeah. like not no not like a stick up like money. I'm saying like oh, someone like came somebody, into your your personal space, violated it, and like took some shit. When yeah, you bro. Home. I sold drugs heavily. That's I had not a lot what of cash I'm saying. Around. I'm not as outside of the game. Outside of that whole game, I got robbed by the fucking. Cops in an airport before. I was yeah. bringing 50 G's cash back from New York and they popped me in LAX and they came up to me undercovers. They took my luggage and they said, we know what you're doing. We know who you are. We're taking this and you could come fight for it in court and prove where you got it. But we know you got it. And if you make me come to court, then I'm going to show up and maybe we'll start an investigation on you or maybe we already have one. And I was like, all right, can I go now? You keep it, whatever. Yeah, it's and called I was, like seizure, right? Uh, at for, uh, yeah. At f seizure forfeiture or something. It's like yeah. a law that they can just take your shit. Because the money came from contraband drugs. Or that's what they claim. Came from weed. So I lost 46 grand or something like that. It was just cash that I had that was owed to me. And yeah, I couldn't say shit. Couldn't fight for it. Getting robbed because sucks. Because I, I was on probation at the time and I was traveling when I wasn't supposed to be. Do you? And the first, that's actually, I left that part out of the story. It's a big part of it. The cop said, Mr. Whittick. You're on probation, right? And this is a random guy in the airport. Like, Not like plain, plain clothes. clothes, yeah. Mr. Whittick, you're on probation, right? I'm obviously I have to say, yeah. So I'm like, yeah. And he's like, does your probation officer know you're traveling? And I'm like, nope. And he goes, come with me. So automatically I'm like, you know, run. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna get locked up at least. So I'm like, fuck, I should text somebody, like just be ready to bail me out. I had a girlfriend at the time, so I was like, just heads up, I might be getting in trouble. But nothing serious. Like, I'll be out. Just be ready. What the hell? And they didn't lock me up. They just took the money. But yeah, Fuck. it hurts. It hurts to get robbed. Yeah. It, I mean, even that was like a seizure technically, but it's it stings and it doesn't go away for a long time. Yeah. You live I've with that. Sleeping. Like, even right now, as I'm telling the story, it hurts. Yeah. And this was like I could see six it. years ago. Yeah. That 50 G's could have went to Steven's fucking Spertilago. It could have cured it. His what? His Vitilago. 
What's that? We could have. Oh, fucking... you. Oh, I know what that is. You Show don't need... the cool part. You don't need to cure that though, do you? <laughs> what? Cure? It's on his dick too. You want to see it? Did you, do you want to see my penis? <laughs> do you want to show it to me? Do you I mean, want to see, see it? Uh, not particularly. Okay, okay. it's fine. It's maybe Bro, maybe there. on the Patreon. What you want me to say? Yes. No, yeah. if you don't want to, if you don't want to say. Uh, it's a, if you already sh- if I've already done this bit, I don't need to. It's an ongoing bit. I'm okay. Okay. So I'm not gonna ask him if he wants to see my penis. If he wants you to see my penis, he will times. ask me. Do you want to see mine? Yeah. Trade, trade, trade. No. Okay. Let's let's elevate the, the conversation a little bit here. Okay. We just talked about some Shut serious dick. shit. Shut me dick. <laughs> I don't want to see guys. Come on. I, I this is no, I have respect. Shut hey, what we were talking about respect earlier. Sure. You ever felt how, how soft my hands are? How old are you? No, I don't want to feel how soft my hands You're are. Like, it's no, like thank a you. Twelve year old's hands. <laughs> how old are you? Damn, bro. Is that nice? You need to fucking do some pull ups or something. <laughs> You need to get some fucking dumbbells. That's, get yeah. some calluses on your hand. That's the result of like zero zero hard labor for my entire life. Yeah. Can you I, need to change what, that. Can I get, and you know what? I fucking said some shit in the last podcast. It feels so long ago. But I said, I was like, yeah, oh, frenemies was toxic. They, all the all these fucking bullshit frenemies fan accounts. That, and you know who I'm talking to. You motherfucker <laughs> deaf noodles. You fucking little <laughs> weasel. Is a fan account. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Trisha tweeted me back. She was like. What did she say? What did Trisha say to me? She was like, saying our relationship's toxic. Who, when you almost got killed by your friend or something like that? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was like a shot at, at And the everybody brand. like l- liked the tweet and loved it. Like, it was some big major clap back. Like, you guys had a, f- a fucking fight live that fell apart while eating Domino's pizza. It was live? It was live. Yeah. It, oh, I've never seen this. Or no, actually, it wasn't even live. They chose to air their fights, and that's content. That's the content you want to make? Look, people love the drama. You know, they love the fucking, they they eat it up. So I get it. I understand. But don't clap back at me by saying, oh, your friend almost killed you. Yeah, I didn't want that to happen. You know, yeah. you guys chose to eat pizza and argue and argue about money and your relationship fell apart. And then you sabotage each other's families and the biggest, deepest, darkest secrets. Yeah, that's toxic. Okay, I'm still friends with the kid who hurt me. It's just weird to weaponize the accident. Um, um, yeah, they Jeff, weaponized my accident. Let me tell you a quote. It changed my life. It might help you too. When you turn toward the sunshine, all the shadows. Oh, fall I'm at the you. sunshine, baby. I'll, you want me to shirt? Let me give me a shirt off yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I'm. Fucking been, I've been waiting up. the whole fucking last forty five minutes. I've been in the fucking sunshine. I know you're going to be shirtless in the thumbnail, so you give the people what they ask for, and they click on this. Show the shirt. I mean, there we go. I don't give a fuck about podcasts you anymore. You got some sexy music you can you play right what? now. Love them now. Once 158. Today. Yeah, I saw that on the scale. 158 pounds. I weigh 155. And you're yeah? like three inches taller than me. I'm a, I'm at least a good foot and a half taller <laughs> than you. What are you? What is your actual height? Say for the record. I think it's five foot nine. <laughs> bro, you what? bro, stand up right now. Measure this guy. Oscar, get the tool. Get the tool from the phone. No, I know I know five nine people and they're not you. They're not what do you, you. think Shorter I am? Than that? What do you think I am? Five three? Four? Five <laughs> no. four? No, Mike's like she five seven. You, Jeff. I'm not five five, five three, seven. Five seven. seven. Yeah. No, I've dude. I was five eight in eighth grade. So wait, wait. wait. <laughs> oh, you, you went down you, after eighth grade. <laughs> I'm five nine. I'm I five ten. So okay, would, stand up. Let's improve it. I'm like five ten and a half. Like Measure these boys. This guy's not five nine. Five nine, my ass. Which what type of shoes do you have on Air Maxes? <laughs> Subtract an inch and a half. It's five eight. Five eight. I knew it. Well, that's good. Five that's still good, ass. Mike. That's good. Yeah, you got you got a fucking ruler from. That's good. Uh, I'll call yeah, it five seven. Ruler. It's the hair. That's good, Mike. All right. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Hit up. Uh, who just called me? I got a missed call. Your your co-host is trying to hold my hand, Jeff. I'm not. Let's take a caller. I want to get somebody on the line here. Somebody I love. Somebody I deeply respect, <laughs> and I look out for. I haven't talked to in a while. His face makes me happy. Kind of like Stevens. Oh wow. Looking good, Vardon. <laughs> Skin's glowing. You're looking nice and healthy. What is that? That's not a jewel in your hand, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Bro, damn, you fucking scared the shit out of me. I'm a prize fighter now. I'm getting into boxing, Vardon. <coughs> yeah. I know you and I have been training. Um, Steven here, you met before, right? I met yeah. You got respect for him? Yeah. Yeah, I like him. that's dope. Don't, I, I Mutual don't like respect. His, uh, Mike. You don't like Mike. That's fine. Fair. What? It's a popular opinion. Since when? I'm glad you got, I'm glad my boys got respect for each other, man. That makes my fucking heart warm. You're going to join our training camp. We're doing a Jeff's Barbershop training camp. I want you in it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think I should fight if I fight a YouTuber? I think you should fight Jake Paul. Okay. You believe in me. You want me to go straight for the big dogs. 
Look, I'm 160. He's 205 right now. But I will get there. I'm going to cut down weight. First, I'm going to take out David. Fuck, man. I want, I want to fight someone, too. I would I love know, to see I you go up against your brother like the like the Paul brothers are talking to do a one-on-one brother match. You know, it's a sport. Maybe, maybe start with Susie just to get your... No, don't talk about touching that. <laughs> Susie. Yeah, fuck Fuck yeah, kill yourself. watch your mouth, Mike. What That's what I'm talking about. Say? The respect thing that I have to teach my youngins Mike, here. You should know better. You're 37 years old. Take those fucking stupid glasses off. You fucking He needs moron. them. To you see. know what? I guess, I guess four eyes. being a traitor runs in their fucking family. Because <laughs> no, last time I saw Vardan, no, Vardan is he was my fucking boy and he's my super boy for not, life. I came to patronize his family's restaurant. I bought a fucking oh, fuck. meal, even though I'm vegetarian. And it's a meat-only nah, facility. I paid for they a meal. They force you to eat meat there? I paid for a fucking meal. They don't offer yeah. vegan they dishes? Don't, there's no vegetarian options. I still gave them fucking money. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And Vardan was super nice to oh, me. Oh, you now. want a salad? Go down the street. Fuck that. What? Rat. Fucking a rat, bro. Mike the fucking rat. The rat-faced rat. Bro, this is this is the fucking energy I missed. You're not that guy. Yeah. Yo, Mike, fuck you, Mike. You fucking think you're all tough and shit. So you're <laughs> fucking acting all tough. I promise you, you're not that guy, pal. You're so not I'll that let guy. Your boy for real you know for what, real. Vardan? I'm gonna open up a fucking vegan restaurant and knock your fucking little kebab shop out of the goddamn water. How about that? Don't fucking do it. Oh, you pussy. Go do it to your fucking <laughs> bitch. All right, Vardan. You fucking killed it on the show. Thank you for coming on. Oh. It's a pleasure to have you. We love you. I'll see you next week, all right? We'll call you back up. Or we'll train this week yeah. if you want to come join the training camp. We're transitioning oh, Jeff's yeah. Barbershop yeah, like, into I'll, a fight club, a, a mobile fight club. So we'll have you in it. Even though you're 14, we'll find your opponents your age. We'll do headgear. Oh, hell youth, yeah. We'll youth fight. fights. Youth fights, yes. For my management, oh, yeah. we'll be in contact with your management. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I'll let you know, We'll talk, we'll I'll talk. See. We're going to get you a nice... A nice check for this nice payday, you know. Look at that yeah. back. The back muscles show from the front. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> yes, sir. Makes no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Vardan. Love you, buddy. Bye, I'll see Vardan. you later. All right, bye, guys. See ya. What just happened? A podcast. Why, People love it. Why did a fourteen-year-old kid just tell me to go fuck myself for ninety minutes? That's how things go <laughs> over here. Uh, what else do we got? Any, any topics? Any callers? You guys got anything that you want to talk about? <laughs> You like my shirt, Jeff? I'm just getting my sound bites ready for Zane. Matches the set. Oh, very cool. I, I did nice. a little bit of style coordination representing our hometowns or my hometown. Yeah. East Coast, matching the set. No, that's dope. Trying to make a little pizzazz. Yeah, that's no, great. I like the the effort you put in. Thank you. You know? I hope I hope it's uh recognized. It's a, it's your your style of uh preparation for a show. We don't really give a fuck about <laughs> shirts over here. Yeah, I know. You guys don't You're do any preparation. New Jersey? Yeah, I'm from New Jersey. You ever been? Yeah. It's you know, a good state. You know where Maryland's at? <laughs> what? You know where Maryland's at? Maryland. Mar oh, Maryland. Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> Welcome to Jeff FM. Hey, what's up, Zane? You did. Turn How are you doing? Turn your phone sideways, Zane. Yeah, turn it sideways. We got you on the show here. I know you guys don't have this stuff over there at fucking uh, whatever the hell it's called. But I just wanted Is to this say- live? That no, it's not live, bro. Don't worry. We'll fucking edit it out if your PR team contacts me after. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. But I saw your, yeah, PR, speaking of PR team, you need a fucking higher one because you Why? go out and you get fucking drunk and you talk shit. You think whiskey going to help him? And you think whiskey's going to help you. But you know what? Oh, that I, fucking oh, video I, I is public. Said, I would have said what I said if I, whether I was drunk or not. You th Oh, damn. I'm going to get me hands on you, you hear me? I never You're fucking dead. I yeah, you think this shit's a game? We're, we're in a world right now where we got to be, it's all about drama. You know, we can't hide anything anymore. You know the game. We've got we to gotta spill our feelings. I'm dropping. To the paparazzi. They're the most important people. You go out one night in a year and a half. <laughs> in a year and a half, Zane, you go out one night and you get paparazzi and you fucking blow it. But you know what? I know. I'm dropping down to 135 pounds to fucking knock David's teeth out. And then I'm coming up to whatever you're but at. But what about me? I'm the one, I'm the one that said it. Damn. Oh, then I guess I got to fucking start eating. Yeah, you're going to start. Gotta, you, you, dude, you got, you got about 40, 50 pounds to catch up. You know what? I don't even need it. You could have it. You could have it. Set it up. Sign the contract. We'll be in touch. I'm sending it to your manager. How much, well, how much would I need to get paid to even fight? You could keep all the money. <laughs> Damn. Jeff just wants to beat your ass <laughs> for free. Oh, just for, yeah, just for free. Yeah. <laughs> Show the bathroom, guys. Show the bathroom, guys. These guys, too, they're coming, too. <laughs> To take out your assistant. Is that inside the bathroom? It's in the uh, yeah. It's the back. It's the control room. It's video control village. Room. The studio. The oh high, man, high quality production. So well, man, we got to move you to a bigger studio. You're dead when I get me hands on you.
Hey, fuck oh, off. Please, fucking kill me. <laughs> Murder me. I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. Okay, thanks for coming on, Zane. <laughs> All right. Bye, yeah, fuckers. Love you. <laughs> oh, oh, he did not Make like that. Easy. Man, there's real fucking drama on the show today. There's a little bit of fear in his eyes on that one. He was scared. He went in David's little movie theater. Ooh, let me get into this little shelter because I'm getting called out publicly. That's how we fucking roll over here. Send them a fucking release form. Have them sign it in blood. You We're using your footage. I feel like you could you could probably fight Zane even in different weight classes. Like you could take I'll fight him them both the same same round. Yeah, like, I'll fight them both the same time. David and then Zane one after another. Same, same time. night. Same time. Oh, at the same ring. The same the same match. Uh huh. And they could poke fingers through their boxing gloves to poke my for my good eye. One of these cats ain't playing right. Kyle, my man, my boys are learning. What is that? Good my, fellas? I taught them something last week. You learn it if you watch the fucking podcast. This is educational here. I don't watch the podcast. It's I am Jay-Z. the podcast, Jeff. It's Jay Z. I am the you podcast. You should know you're from fucking New York. All right, let's wrap it up, guys. Matt, let's just take one caller from Patreon. It's a fun podcast to do. Yeah, right? Yeah. Hi. Hey, how's it going? I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, don't be scared. You got nothing to worry about. We just have Mike Sheffer here. We got no big significant guests, so it's just the boys, you know? What do you think uh, about, what do you think okay. about Mike Sheffer? Yeah, here we go. Here's um, a perfect test. And be completely honest because this this show, you know how it is, you know? We tell it how it is. We keep it real. So give Mike your honest opinion. If you hate him, it's fine. We can't even see you. You're not even doing videos, so you know, I mean, the last I guy just told him he fucking hates him, but it was Vardon. He said to go F himself and stuff. But, you know, they got history. All right, let her talk. <laughs> okay, you're I'm right. sorry. I don't really watch his videos. So I don't really know much about him. <laughs> I've only seen like on David's vlogs or your channel. <laughs> oh, so only the worst of the worst. Well, I don't make well, he, videos. Yeah, he doesn't so. make he doesn't make videos. He's just uh, kind of hangs out in ours and does like he rides around on a skateboard and uh Oh, okay. Files, police reports. Charter Erica, where stolen. are you from? Staten Island. Get hey. get out of here. Are you serious? Yes. No You went way. to the same school as me, too. I went to Wagner. What year? Well, I graduated in 2019. Oh, damn. Okay. So you're a little younger than me. What type of job do you think I'm doing representing for Staten Island? And, you know, I think you're just doing great. I mean, better than Pete Davidson. <laughs> wow. wow. You just gave Good. Jeff the compliment of the fucking year right Damn. there. Damn. Hey, <laughs> Jeff is the real king of Staten you Island. Made, you made my night. You know, I was on uh, a high already you. and I didn't think I could get any happier because I just came back from Miami. I don't know if you saw the last vlog. There were a lot of I KOs. Did. And we're, we're How's on a your high. eye? Oh, Steven actually punched it back into place. <laughs> it's crazy. I've oh, done, really? I've done eight surgeries. Over the past year, <laughs> and none dollars. of the doctors could get it right. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> Out of Dobrik LLC, they couldn't get it right. Steven gave me one left hand, and it whacked it right back into place. Who'd have thought? This is actually like better. That's Bro, crazy. I went to the doctor today, and Dude, they it said- it looks better. <laughs> it looks better. Yeah, yeah. I went to the doctor it. today, oh my God. and they said that I have 20-20 vision. I did, I did a vision test. And Stop. I swear, like, you're lying. bro, I swear, I went to the doctor and they said, you have your vision is 2020 again. They said the last time you did it, you were probably under a lot of swelling pressure. What? But Steven should have been at the lake. How, how's your double, <laughs> double yeah, vision still there? The double vision's still there. But. 2020. Get the fuck out of here. Not See? For real. 2020. What? No way. He's got 2015. Yeah. Crazy. And I had 2015 in this eye. Yeah. Whoa. So, so you're my getting vision's stronger. My vision's like getting a superhero. stronger. Yeah, I was shocked. Like I, I was so happy. Did that, bro. The eyes growing back, Erica. The eyes growing back. That's great. It's it's. It looks better. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're getting there. It's nope. a work in progress, but you know what? Just keep your head up, and things will get better. You know, I got no shirt on on this podcast right now, and I don't know if you could see me. Yeah, uh, I see you. <laughs> okay. Well, I need to put the shirt back on. I thought it was Take an a audio screenshot while you can. I thought it was an audio only um, <laughs> call because we can't see you. It is, but I can see you. I don't know how. Okay, well, there's a, it's there's a, it's a long story. We were doing this thing where I came in like an shy. arrogant boxer, but uh, now I'm shy. And um, damn, okay. hey, you're from I'm my hometown. Shy, like, your brother went to out. high school with me. She's going to fucking tell her brother. She's like, going to find your yearbook photo from. Oh, like, <laughs> you don't have a yearbook oh, you photo, said... but I found a little photo of you. Like yeah, you don't have I, a cap and gown. I didn't show up. Why? Got, they mailed me the diploma. I, was just, I, gave, I gave everybody haircuts. No, I wasn't in. 
the slammer you just then. didn't give a fuck or what no nah, i didn't care i was already making money i want i was planning booking my flight to miami get you out there and you start didn't do selling the cocaine picture the for cartel. Your, not memorialized as a high school graduate of staten island high school no you i don't care what? i got plenty of pictures you want a picture of me i'll fucking send you a picture thanks jeff do you regret not taking that photo nope <laughs> Don't care. Uh, I mean, I don't even I have mean, a yearbook. I mean, look at look at the picture you have of him. In the yeah, I'd, I'd probably be embarrassed and and have it. You have frosted tips. I'd probably like try to hijack all the all the yearbooks and get it deleted if it was out there. I can't believe you exposed me with that picture. That's nuts. I'm so sorry. I no, it's funny. I, I I appreciate it now. I love. I lost my laptop that had all my photos from when I was like 14 to like 18. So that whole gap in my life is just gone and i love making videos because i could show them to my kids i could show them to my grandkids i could be dead and my, and my great great grandchildren can come back and see this is what my father was like as i sit here covering my nipples <laughs> you know but but i love that about it and it's and it's devastating that i lost that laptop so thank you for finding that photo we'll put it up on the screen no here problem. for a little more embarrassment yeah it was great having you on the show i'll speak to you soon okay bye. all right bye erica bye, bye. All right, guys. I think the, my my voice is going again. I need to rest it. You want me um, to step into the chair and do the rest of the show? No, no. Let's wrap it up. No. Uh, that was a great episode. Outro music. Cue it. Can you pull my wrist? Slowly. Slowly. Yeah, it's like slowly. Right? It's like Sign the contract, David. Oh yeah. Just yeah. pull it slowly. Now. Harder. Harder. Feel that? Yeah. What was that? I don't know.